I did it. Look, I did it. Yeah, let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Is it missing anything? Chinese is a complicated language. Not only are there tones where the same word can mean a different thing depending how it is said. Ma. Ma. But the writing system is made up of characters. There are believed to be over 100,000 Chinese characters in existence, and the average Chinese person knows about 3,000, with scholars knowing approximately 8,000. But what may comfort you is that these characters are not unique. They are made up of components called radicals that are combined to build the characters. Kind of like an alphabet. Yeah, the English alphabet with 26 letters. Except in Chinese, there are 214 radicals. So Chinese people have to remember 214 radicals and how they piece together into around 3,000 characters that are useful in daily life and how these 3,000 characters then combine into double and triple character words. Now some characters are more complex than others and people use the number of strokes to determine the complexity of the character. This is the character that most people generally recognize as the most complicated character in Chinese. It has 56 strokes and it is pronounced Biang. It is the name of a noodle dish called Biang Biang Mian from Shanxi province. Now I have a degree in modern and classical Chinese from the University of London and today I'm going to attempt to write this character and a few other even more complicated characters from memory. Let's go. You can count on me Okay. No! I need more. All right, let's start. This is going to be easy. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure that I can do this. So we have a little dot, boom. Then we have a, a roof, okay, roof like that. And we have two little dots like that. And we have a moon, okay. Ooh, I did it, look, I did it. Yeah, let's check, let's check, let's check. Okay, is it missing anything? Have a look. I don't think so, right? It's missing something. <laughs> no! Oh, it's missing the heart. There's a heart at the bottom. All right, and it looks kind of goofy as well, and it's not yeah. big enough. So let's try. Let's try again. Second attempt. Okay, second attempt. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. That's definitely right. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Your approval? You approve? A real Chinese person approves. You know how it's more complex than Chinese? What? Seriously? Yes. So I guess it was too good to be true. There are a few more characters that are even more complicated than Biang. The first one is this one. It is pronounced Zhe and it has 64 strokes. But because really it is just the word for dragon repeated four times, okay? It's the same thing four times. I don't really count it. Easy. But then there is one more that has so many strokes, it blows all other Chinese characters away. And that would be this one. It is pronounced Huang, and it has 172 strokes. Now this character cannot be typed on a computer, and no one really knows what it meant in ancient times. Some people on the internet say that it comes from a Taoist talisman. It wasn't really a character that you'd actually use in conversation. It was more like a piece of art. So if you know what it means, please write a comment in the comment section below. But it doesn't really matter what it means. What matters is that this is the most complicated Chinese character known to man, and I'm gonna try and write it. Five seconds, right? Okay. Okay, let's try. Lei means no. Yu at the top means rain. Yeah. And then uh, we have three fields. Tian, right? I'm totally doing my stroke order wrong. Tian, Tian, Tian. And then five, two, right? Two. The earth. Five times that. You read the too big. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And then we have, I remember there were mountains <laughs> here and here. Okay, so something like that. And then in here, <laughs> in here, that's it. Wait a minute. Let me just do this bit because I know we need this. 
something in here, I don't know, something. Okay, that's what I got, that's what I got, let me see, let me see. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's like phoenixes and dragons and oh, wind yeah. and deer and... Is that deer? Yes. I'll tell you what, I'll do as much as I can from memory and then you just let me look at it, okay? Okay. Two times play, which means to return. Okay, one there, one there. Let me have Yun. Uh, and then I know we got mountains under there. Right. And we got this. And that's it. All right, so that's what I got from memory. <laughs> Wait. Give me, give me, all right, let me, let, me, let me finish it. Let me finish it. All right, so now we need this. Some. We have uh, two more Earths, like that. Then we have some. I think this is kind of like a Phoenix thing. Okay, four of those. And then we have. Oh wow, that. Fly. It goes right. all the way like there. Then we have another tool. And. Oh, it's another Fey. And another mm. tool inside it. And then we have a dragon. Long. Hmm. Well, I just wrote dragon three times, so I know how, four times, so I know how to write dragon. And we have, okay, then we have a uh, deer. <laughs> see, a tien is so big. Yeah, I know. Should write a small thing. And then, oh, that's a tool there. And then there's a. Uh... All right, that's uh, pretty good for a lot. Why, right? It's <laughs> basically it, right? Yeah, yeah it is not for, not words. I think. A lot of words. Yeah, inside this. Do you know what it means? You're Chinese. You should be able to read this, right? No. I never used this. That's the first time I've seen this, actually. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the video. Do subscribe if you're new for more videos on learning Chinese. And hey, maybe next week I'll hit you with the hardest Chinese tongue twisters, all right? Let me know which ones you'd like to hear in the comments, if you know any. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.